are just on our walk. Here. Epic beard man here. <laughs> it is getting long. So. Yeah. Maybe the I'll only reason it. I haven't shaved it, I'm not trying to do like a fashion statement thing or anything like that. It's just it's to the point where I know it's gonna hurt when I shave, so I'm like putting it off and putting it off. It's actually kind of looking good. What do you guys think? Let me know. I, it doesn't look bad. It just pinches me. So yeah, yeah not bad. Makes me look thinner. But it pinches me. But it looks nice on him actually. Not bad. <laughs> so we'll continue walking for a little bit and all this greenery. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys later. Oh, and we had some good sandwiches before. Yeah, I had my, uh, what do you call that? Um, the one I got. Oh, uh, he had a ciabatta, ciabatta bread. bread. The new Subway ciabatta sandwiches. Mm 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 mm. Tasty. He looked like he enjoyed it. And I just had I did. two bags of sun chips and a half a um, Italian urban cheese bread with a BMT, and it was really good. That's usually what I always get. So yeah. it was yummy. Now we're just getting some movement. Let me know if we look cool, guys, with our sunglasses. Let me know if you like my mm. beard or not. I don't know. Forget tomorrow's 4th of July. Happy 4th, we're guys. And we're I... walking and we just got like startled by a. I'm jumping from all the fire crackers and fireworks already. But I just leaped. Anyway, it's expected, I guess. So. And it's actually a lot quieter than I expected already at this point. Oh, funny quick story. Yesterday, so, when I was working at Home Depot, I, um, I helped a customer out with um, a refrigerator. And uh, he was so thankful at the help that I gave him that he invited me and you to go check out his fireworks. He said he has a crap ton of them. <laughs> oh, yeah? He even gave me his address. Too, oh, that was nice. He said, if you and your wife are not doing anything, you know, come by and watch the fireworks show. He said, I have a crap ton. Like, oh, that was nice. I'm, I'm petrified of this thing. I mean, I'm good just watching from a distance, but, but our from right up close. Shortage of fireworks, so. Oh yeah, they're famous for those. So. Mm -hmm. We usually get a live blow-up show right uh, yep. two feet away. Always entertained over here. Then we gotta see all the uh, remains at the end of the day. We on our tires, our top of our car. Yeah. yeah. Good thing for insurance. All right, guys, 758 carbs later, we calculated of marshmallows. Between that and that. Rice Krispie Treats. But at least but now we know, and we can Rice Krispies, I mean, not Rice Krispie Treats. We can calculate, calculate how it. much carbs are in each piece. Oh, it's so Once we cut it. fluffy. We'll it's the, like a cloud. You got to put it's it on a light, light, low But heat. we're not um, we're not eating all these. These are for tomorrow. Yeah. We're just probably going to have a little probably taste so good right now if you took, like, a bite, but... Yeah, no, I'm I know not. you want to. <laughs> I can't have had a couple marshmallows before, so true, that's true. Um, I love getting these from Starbucks. Hands are clean, hands are clean. And theirs is 45 carbs for the little true. thing, so I can imagine. So let's see if this actually adds that. up to it, so probably will. I feel Look like Dan's may be a little bit more healthy. Make a muscle. Zam, girl. Uh, I don't work out, I just carry my pocket around. Hmm. Oh, it's getting all oh, marshmallow yeah, now. Good. That's the goodness right there. That's the fluff. Making your own homemade fluff. That's true. It is coming along and it smells like a giant, delicious Rice Krispies. We should just make one big like, one. Like, seriously, like just a bowl. The one in of, the store. At that's what I meant, like a cake of Rice Krispie treats. Like Dylan can Dylan's candy store. They come big like this. Mm. You never got those before. Well, can I try and mix it? I got one once. So yeah. God. Ow. I know. Don't you just like want to put your hand in it and grab like a snowball of. size of it? I was gonna say diabetes here I come, but I'm already there. So. You're there. I've been here. I'm right behind you. Okay, look, here. Sweetie Bird's even looking at it with one eye. I know. He's, he's like eyeballing it. He's like, I want to taste. Good thing I didn't clean the stove yet. So basically, after this, we just put it in the in the pan, right? The yeah, the Pyrex. Pyrex Does it say how long? Or it just says mix well. It. Yeah, that's it. But you don't want it to dry up in there. So. True, because they do cool off I pretty quick. Mix it up one more time, and then we'll start They, they getting cool off them. pretty well, no? Like pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah, quickly they do. You know what's good too, if like you. You get, know what's not good? Your spatula yeah. isn't greased anymore. If we, if we had it like. Um, no, it's not coming off. No, I know. If we spread this like on a flat surface and just like had like crumbs of of uh, little bits of. Mm -hmm. Of Rice Krispies. If you can't calculate anything, then how many carbs yeah. it is not. Alright, should we 
Do you want a new, a new spatula with butter on it? Mm, nah. At the end, we'll just scrape it like this. Well, we already it. have it, guys. Teamwork. And we have our beautiful Rice Krispie trees already. We'll let those cool down, which they should be pretty much cooled, and then we can cut them into nice squares of 31 grams of carbohydrates each. Zario said, sorry, I cut them off. He said 20, how many? 24 pieces? Yep. So we're going to do 24 um, little square pieces. Yeah, I know I could think on that, right? Wow, look at Those ain't cheap. another appointment another day I am not excited about the Botox injections we are here for uh, Botox preventative migraine injections and I am not looking forward to it because these bad boys are gonna kill 30 something injections so I'm getting ready bracing myself waiting for the doctor to come back and uh, it's go time Rosario is probably gonna laugh no I'm very proud of you. He's gonna crack up laughing. I'm already getting red and warm, and good thing the AC is pumping because, yeah, I'm gonna be sweating bullets. Well, guys, that is a wrap. And uh, I don't know if my forehead looks a little bumpy. Does it look bumpy today? Not really. No, you look good. It was bumpy in the beginning. Yeah, so that's done. It was painful, but um, it's worth it because uh, it seems that the migraines have lessened, except for when I'm on IVs. Every time I'm on IVs, we always have flare-ups. But other than that, but they are less severe, we noticed. So that is good. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems to be better, the headaches, um, less frequent, and we're able to control them with Tylenols, thank God, and preventative meds, and now the Botox. Hopefully we'll take over as the preventative and we can keep weaning down on the preventative meds, which in two weeks we are going to wean down again. So, um, yeah, things are going in the right direction, thank God. And, um, yeah, this is turning out good, I hope. So, we are going to um, head, I think, to Jersey and get something to eat on the way home. Uh, we drive through Jersey to go home. It's just faster, easier, less traffic, and um, going through Manhattan and Brooklyn would just be a nightmare. So we are going to go that way, and uh, our car came pretty quick through Valet. Yeah. It's very quiet today at the hospital, I guess with 4th of July being yesterday, and today uh, being the day after, it's uh, a holiday weekend, so it's really quiet here, so it's nice. Um, and the pain is getting better, I'm sore back here, really sore. She injected some extra Botox uh, in this area and over here for extra injections uh, since we had some leftover. She said, since I'm still having headaches, it would be helpful. So hopefully that helps and we'll see how that goes. But we will see you guys at lunch, I guess. And uh, not sure where we're going to go eat yet, but we'll see you guys after. Lunch time, yeah. those pretzels are so good. They are. They used to be skinny and long, now they're short and stout. <laughs> I thought you were going to say short and fat. I like that stout. They're delicious. I already downed one. He had a half. 
and I'm going for another one. Yum yum. And this dip is so good. The cheese one.